Morning. Hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, right, Monday morning, got a 10 by 8 prepared board here. Uh, I've prepared a, a 24 inch by 20 inch board to replace one in the frame. But, uh, this is the prototype for the one I'm going to do after this one. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, I quite like this and I want to do a larger one, but so maybe this will be a rehearsal. I've got, I'll show you the board. It's still a bit damp with the PVA glue and it's, uh, it's pretty big, but I think you'll be able to see how much Blast of Paris I've worked into to look down here to give a nice texture behind the paint. All adds to the interest. I'll try and remember to put the phone, up phone, put the ball, the camera back onto this little board. So that's what I've been doing this morning. Alright, oh, okay. It's a very cold morning in London. Got me a cup of tea. So I'm just going to uh, I'll use a bit of PVA glue, a bit of dilute PVA glue. I'm not neglecting all you watercolourists, but uh, while I'm sort of on fire with this, I'm going to carry on and just do the odd watercolour, probably two or three a week, so that's, that should be enough. There are 900 on, on YouTube to, to keep you occupied. Right, let's uh, make a bit of a, a light background, greys and I think we've, we've got, as an English painter or British painter, our landscape tends to, to I wouldn't say drab, but uh, but it hasn't. We we don't get the bright Mediterranean colours of the warmer climes. But the point I want to make is that we've got really lovely primary colours and, and the secondary colours. Yet we. Or I tend to make a turn them into a, a sort of muddy dreadness, and uh, the, this is a free way of painting, making it up as I go along and developing as I see them. A bit of alizarin in there as well. Not alizarin, Viridian. I didn't like that bit of yellow mixed in there. But it's going to take a while for that uh, board to dry. Bit of red. I'm holding the brush like that because my wrists hurt. I just had to put a ladder up to the gutter. We've, we had some violent weather down here last week and the rain came off the roof and blew the water uh, cascading over the gutter and it's dampened a bit of a wall in our air and cupboard. There's not much I can do about it. So if anybody's got any ideas whether you can buy silicone sprays that you can spray outside rendering with that uh, waterproof the wall, let me know. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can buy, buy uh, Waterproofers for tiles and slates and things. Okay, let's get some some light in there now. Let's put out some white. I haven't got a clue about what I'm doing here. See now, PVA glue when it dries, I just peeled that off the top of the uh, the bottle. It's plastic. This is quite a good quality white scale. It's Windsor and Newton Galleria. And that was a 500ml half a litre pot. But it lasts for ages. And the £1.50 white that I have been using, whilst is extremely good value, it's just a little bit thin. So you use a lot of that, whereas the thicker stuff you lose. Use less. 
and when I do the big boards, I'm going to use these sort of brushes, these big painting painters brushes. Not very good quality. I wouldn't want to use a really good quality household painting brush for this. Uh, right, a bit of bit of red. Let's uh, get my nice cadmium red. Now this is a good colour. This is from Wolfram Wilkinson's. Just peel that bit of plastic off the nozzle. Just bang that out of it. I see all the joint colour for that. Got my blue. Now I'm just going to draw the curves in a bit. I'll pull the blinds down a little bit because the sun's shining in the uh, uh, I should really love the sun. It's uh, shining on the board. I'm under a north facing Velux window, quite a big one. Uh, which is very good. So you get the steady light with the with the north from the from the north. So let's just put in some nice ready orangey light. If you haven't looked at my friend Fiona Hooper's Facebook page or or Google, have a look. I've, in one of my videos, I've given a link to it to her Facebook. But Fiona Hooper, she's a very good impressionist painter, mostly oil, but she can do everything. She's a, she's a really known for many years. And she runs a, a small group in uh, Selsdon, South Croydon. Uh, now I've been putting these little bits of bits of sun. In. Just, just pure white, or just, and you can just feather it a bit. That's just a little bit of sunlight coming through, through there. Now, I want to put some trees which I'm going to scumble over with it when it's dry. So a bit of black, a bit of yellow. Make it a bit bigger. Bit of red. Bit of yellow. So we could do uh, some reflection in the this is a bit thick at the moment, but it's going. I'm going to drag over it when when it's dry. Uh, let's, uh, let's. Still a landscape, but uh, we'll abstract it and just no rules, just, just paint. <coughs> Let's get, uh, let's go up a bit, bit here, as soon as the river wandle. It's all right in there.
But I'll give that a bit of a dry now. Headphones off. Just drag over some sky over the whole lot of that now. Bit of orangey. Build, build up the, the surface over this. Right, now we can start to build build up over that. Let's give it a bit, bit, bit of a dry. The other board has got, so this is this I've trailed on, the other board I've uh, I've dabbed with a, with a large two inch house painter's brush or inch and a half, this one. I've just, just sort of tapped it down so that it remains pimply rather than slabby like the knife. to me sort of colours.
See, I, I think with these, you, we're trying to get away from, from exact likeness and try to create a sort of an impression of of stuff going going on, but without naming things or making them too obvious. I just want to set that back and just make colours. I, you see, the one I want in the big frame, I want um, to be a, a, an attractive but not an obvious statement. Orange, I like orange. I don't have any ready mixed orange. I sort of Mix it with the red and the yellow. Well, Charles Wolfe has done a series of of um, reflection paintings. So I give him a look on his uh, YouTube channel. Something starts to happen here. Oh, nice, lovely, lovely thick. Now we're abstracting. Well, I like to think we are. Bit of white in there. Put some black in there in a minute. Pure black. It's a bit of green in there, I think. But try to keep it from going towards realism. This is what we're trying to get away from. Remember, green enhances red. Want a green to look green? I put it next to a to a red. They vibrate. Well, they tend to vibrate. Right. Right, I want some contrast in there. I think. Remember, keep your brushes very clean, don't let the paint dry on them. Take my tea. Make it a dark, warm green.
Let's light that sky a bit, I think. Now, keep your palette clean. Oh, there's my palette. So I'm just going to scrape off some of that the paint in the mixing area here. Now, just give it a wipe. Okay. Right. So. Um, I, I'm going to keep the yellow ochre out of my sky. I don't. Oh, yeah, that's dead. Hold on, that went wrong. Well, I've got a bit of muddy yellow, and I want to keep the colours as pure as I can. Let's put out some more yellow. Uh, I've got a. Let's try the lemon yellow. Got a lot of that. I'll right, we'll bung some of that out. Red, a lot of white, a bit of that lemon yellow. It's a bit of thick. to soften all that there, try to push it, I'll put that white sun back, I just, uh, just, I just want to lose it, it's just too obvious. Right, let's uh, make that red and that uh, lemon yellow.
No, I don't like that. Let's try that. Headphones off. This is the great thing about acrylic, you can do that with a solid medium, but it dries so quick. So those, those uh, knife marks, they make interesting patterns underneath, nice texture. Uh, right, oops, sorry. Just look at my screen. No, yeah, well, it looks like a misty, misty cold scene, doesn't it? But it is. Uh, I think I've made it too obvious. This was a better one, the original. But let's get just a bit of green back there. Let's hit the high spots with this black. Alright, let's put that in a in a frame and see. I'll have a little break and like if that's okay, I'll come back and have a go at the big one and see where we go. That might take a couple of sessions. Put my, put my frame without a picture in. So we're only limited by our own imaginations with, with this. Oops. Uh, that doesn't quite... It would fit. I've got some of this primer sticking over the, over the edge. So let's just scrape some of that off if it comes off. It's very hard. It dries, the plaster dries very, very solid with that PVA glue. Well, I'll try see if that fits. Yeah, that's better. that fits. Okay, so there we are, I've got another one. That doesn't look too bad at all now, does it? In a frame, that's a nice little frame. <coughs> it was a, a, a cheap plastic gilt photograph frame but I painted a few coats of white and left some of the gold chain through streaky and it's uh, quite an effective little frame let's uh, so I'm st still keeping my powder dry with the realism or that this balance between 
realism and abstraction, I've, it's turned into an abstract misty scene, similar to what the other one, which I wanted. But I might try and do some a skyline with some buildings, some a church, and some barns, and, and then just go over it with the with the scumble to reduce the intensity of it and take away the detail from it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.